said, let's uh, come back here in the studio where we are now being joined by Barrister Tangod Okwara, who is a legal practitioner as well as a politician. Now, Barrister Okwara is a two times PDP aspirant, a Moha constituency state house of assembly under the auspices of the People's Democratic Party. A local government area council chairmanship aspirant on the PDP against chief in 2018 and candidate of NNPP for House of Representatives position, Ikwere Emoha local government area federal constituency in 2023 uh, general elections. Hello and good morning, Barrister. It's wonderful to have you join us on the program. Well, we are having a little bit of a struggle with the connection there, but hopefully we will have Barrister Okwara back in the studio with us to continue the discussion uh, leading up to the October 5th River State local government uh, polls. Hello and good morning, Barrister. Good morning, sir. It's wonderful good to morning, have you. Good morning, sir. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, because of the rain. It's rainy here yeah, heavily. Well, it seems to be... Um, really yes. that, that, that's fantastic. It's good that you are in Patakot. Uh, the Rivers local government polls is just around the corner. Uh, come 5th October, citizens will uh, go to the ballot and cast their votes. What are we looking at and how is the situation, particularly in Patakot, where you are? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. And we are prepared for the elections come the fifth of this month. That is next tomorrow on Saturday. Everything is fine, Papa Court. Peace, calm, everything is fine. Well, well, um, it's it's a sign of uh, goodwill that you mentioned that everything is fine, but perhaps in the papers it appears that the polity is quite heated in River State with a trade of words between the governor. Uh, Simi uh, Fubara and the FCT minister, uh, who is also a godfather in the state, Barrister Yes on Wiki. What are we? What are we expecting come fifth October? We are expecting a peaceful environment in River State. The election will be conducted very well. If you understand, you will know that our governor, Governor Simi Fubara, is a peace-loving governor. If I must accord him that, is the most peaceful governor in the entire 36 state of Nigeria. A peace-loving governor. And we love it for its quality. We are looking at a very successful LGA push to be conducted in River State. What you are reading on the paper, I don't believe everything you read there because I believe that most of them are targeted to just to either dent the image of the governor or how wish the governor to do in their bid. So far as we are concerned in River State, the RISEC, being the River State Independent Electoral Commission, they are ready for their job. And the noise you are hearing in River State is not far from harangueing the governor to do their bit. We know how far this state has suffered to get a quality governor of this kind. Still from the present minister of the Federal Capital Territory, he brought his governor to us. He brought it to he brought it to us. At the initial time when this when he, when the mass became on board, being our peace loving governor came on board, we felt ah uh, we've not known him before. How do we do it? Everybody's been just okay. He said vote for him is a good person. So the issue now we are still asking our former leader, because to me, the leader we have now is seen for Bara. No other leader in River State. He's no about first citizen in River State. He remains our leader now. Others are leaders. So we're asking our former governor this simple question. What has sin done to you? What is that thing that sin has done to you that you don't want us to support him again in River State? What is that special thing that is making you and your supporters to harangue our governor? Harangue him at all costs, every space, all times. What is that problem? We want to know it. 
what what, 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 well, I, be, I believe Barrister Barrister Okwara, this is a question mm. in, on the minds of many Nigerians. Uh, people are wondering how the fallout came about and why the constant uh, backlash and uh, rift between you know who people who used to be very close a political godfather yeah. and his godson and now they are drifting yeah. apart in a very very bad light how much is this affecting the pdp in river state considering the fact that the local government elections is just around the corner and pdp candidates need to win in your state pdp candidates that i don't know about for now in terms of this local government push why why do you think so because I don't think they future in this election. That, that, that's that's quite a strong st election. statement there. Uh, hello? That's quite a strong assertion. Why do you think they did not feature in, in the election? And why are, are you perhaps pulling out of uh, support for the PDP? I mean, the governor, Sim Fubara, is uh, a strong no, PDP no, 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 member. No, 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 no. I cannot pull out from supporting PDP. I'm a PDP member. Like, if you look at my profile there, from the beginning, I have gone for election in PDP, councillorship, House of Assembly, chairmanship, until when I had to take a boot step by going to contest for the House of Rep under NMPP, New Nigeria People's Party. I have been a strong supporter of PDP from the beginning. Despite not losing, despite not winning at the primaries, I still continue to support my party. But the issue is the leadership of the party, just like what is happening in Benue State, for instance, where you that are leaders, that people that know the truth and what is happening, we decide to shy away from the truth just to satisfy the interest of a particular individual. Just to satisfy the interest of a particular individual. That is what is the PDP in River State. Nothing more than that. But we that are under the PDP of leadership of Sim Fubara, we are intact. The fact that they were not prepared due to the state chairman of the PDP was not prepared to sponsor candidates for this election because before you become a candidate in any local government election or any election, according to the constitution and the electoral enabling acts, you are supposed to be sponsored by a political party. So the fact that the PDP have refused to sponsor the interested candidate to run for the forthcoming election on the 5th of October, you don't expect people who want to benefit from what is enabled in their local government to watch PDB and clap for them. Of course, they have right to association. People have taken both steps, joined other parties to test their popularity. That is what is happening. Well, 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 let, we are still let's PDP. talk about let's talk about RSEC and INEC, where uh, reports coming in this morning says that uh, both. Uh, uh, institutions are sort of worrying over the release of voters register in the state. It says here, uh, election other kicks for Barra, INEC disagree over release of voters register to RSEC. What is the situation like? What's the rift between INEC and, and, and you know, RSEC in your state? You know, when you see an old man trying to lie in the public, it's hard to be shaking. That is exactly the, the case of uh, our senior brother or elder brother, Obo Efanga. From the interview you saw, was he very composed? No. He was trying to please some certain people. From the electoral act, not only electoral act, from the constitution, on issue of registration of voters, which is officially and explicitly analyzed the work of the INEC. It is very clear that before any general election, 60 days to the time of election, that they must have out. They must have concluded with voters registration, uploading, upgrading of every electoral materials. 60 days to election, which is two months. Two months. 60 days of constitution. Now, election was last year. That was the last time they revalidated, review and did their new or whatever they did about the voters card. The last time was last year. And this election that is coming up on the 5th of October was not just immediate or just woke up and then called the election. No, it has been in view before this year began. With the person that is in charge of 
the chairman of River State Independent Electoral Commission, the person of that justice, Adabos Elebeli, does he look like a learner that we sit down to when the election is two weeks to the time and they apply for a register of the INEC or ISEC for the food registration? Of course, no. We have the research have applied for this. Put it to test if they are ready, even before this year. And that voter's result has been released to the I research by the INEC. By the INEC. Before, if, if you look at it very well, after the surrender of uh, the candidate of the G, which was three months ago or thereabout, before then, we know that the election will come up so so time. We didn't just wake up, or the government, with its wisdom, cannot just wake up and say election is so so dead. No. Before he even announced the date of election, he has already made plans and they have done the needful by applying for tourists to INEC to release the voters' registration, and which has been done. So, 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 if, so, so, if everybody is trying to deny the facts, I don't know where it's coming from. Do you smell some sort of foul play, perhaps, by, by INEC or other external forces? Uh, in order to manipulate uh, the local government polls in your state? Uh, I don't understand. INEC is not involved in our local government election in the first place. Exactly. People that are conducting our election is River State Electoral Commission. Our sec. INEC have done their own duty by giving us voter registration. So if they are coming up this afternoon, say we did not give to them officially. I don't know what they mean by officially or not officially. But thank God they are doing that we are reading to them twice. Well, that's now why I'm asking, do you, just, even do, before do you smell the, some sort of foul play We wrote to them twice through the RISEC. Through the RISEC. The government said we is that I am a full supporter of St. Fubara and because he's a good man. Because we are being hungry for this kind of quality of government to lead the university. Earlier when we started talking, uh, Barry Stockwara, you mentioned that River State, particularly, is quite peaceful. The polity is not heated. But uh, with reports that we have gotten from different quarters, uh, rumors are that, well, not really rumors, but speculations are that uh, the faction of PDP siding with uh, Barrister Nyesom Wiki are demanding that elections will not hold in the state. The local government elections polls will not hold. And the faction supporting Governor Simkubara, the faction that you, that you belong to, are insisting that elections must hold. Is that the situation in River State right now? Nobody's postponing the election. But the are there threats? Are there time. threats like that? I, I just want you to confirm this. Are Hello. there threats? Hello? Are there threats that elections will not hold in your state? Oh, is it? Sorry, I didn't get you. Well, well, well I, I believe there's a little bit of glitch oh. in the connection there, but can you hear me, Barrister? Yeah, I, I can just come again, please. I'm sorry. I, I said I, that earlier you mentioned the place, because it's raining here. Earlier you mentioned that in Patakot the polity is calm and there is no tension. Well, we have gotten reports that yes. uh, the PDP faction siding with Barrister Yes and Wiki are uh, demanding that elections will not hold in the state. While the faction siding with Governor Simfubara, the faction that you belong to, are insisting that elections must hold. Is that correct? We are not insisting the election was good. Of course, there is a date for the election which is constitutional from the which which is because any 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 statement from the research is what is the law here. So research has fixed election for fifth of October. Election we hold. The issue of postponing election, who postponed the election? Is it the governor or the research? When every logistics are on ground, is the constitutional right of the we said to hold an election, and they will conduct an election. It's just that we are having a series. I don't know what to call my colleagues or the the most of the judges we have now in Nigeria. Imagine the kind of judgment somebody will give or the training that somebody will give that a public document cannot be assessed by a fellow sister institution of a state. Document as vital as voters register should not be released to a sister station. A sister agency. Look at this. You see old men da dancing in the rain naked. That's what we have in this era. Old men dancing in the rain naked. That a sister body, which is research, have no right to, to receive the register from 
an elder body being INEC because somebody like Tony Kota brought an application in the court. But sorry to say, let me not even say it properly because before you brought it, the matter has been completed. Restake has already released the documents because the application came very late. It was late. Restake has already received more than two times communication to release this document, and which they have already done. So coming to deny to the public, you know what it is. But it's a very bad thing that we are painting Nigeria at this point. This point. Well, well Barry Stock, well, we'll, we'll, still, we'll still come back to the issue of Resec and INEC. But I just want you to make some things clear. Are there threats by a PDP faction in River State saying local government polls would not hold? Because people no. need to know, people need to know the true situation, the real reality of what is currently going on in River State. There is nothing like that. Okay. When you are not participating in an election, what you have to do is to want to back out. They put out of the election and are not participating. So what threats? Will they come with uh, fiscal threats or what kind of threats? Because so far as we know, until now we know, there is no spiro court order against the latest order that the Irish have to conduct the election. So if the threat has to do with legal threats, which is judicial threats, there is nothing like that. It doesn't exist. We have to do with fiscal threats. I don't think we are too coward not to contend it. So there is no threat whatsoever. And the election we hold, and it will hold peacefully on the 5th of October. That is next tomorrow. Oh, all right. Now, coming back to the issue of uh, RISEC and, and INEC, Shield, in case this uh, rift continues, uh, are we seeing maybe a deterrent in the election come 5th October if uh, the issue is not resolved between these two sister agencies? Hello, Barrister. Can you hear me? So the network is back. Can you rephrase that? Yes, uh, it, it, you are. You are back on the line. I was asking on the issue of RISEC and INEC. Should, in case this whole situation is not resolved with the uh, voter register being released to RISEC, how would this impact the election on the fifth of October? It's raining here. It's just network. The rain is heavy here. What I got? Okay, but understand it. Well, well, did you get my question? Should should the voters register not? Should the voter register not? If it is not released to RSEC, oh. how would it affect the election on the fifth? Because you were quite vocal about it. You seemed really displeased about the fact that uh, RSEC couldn't access the voter register from mm -hmm. INEC. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't say that. I said RSEC. Well, 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 INEC, while we, while we look the to... The voter and his group went to court to seek a restraining order against the release. So if what we have, we have the voter register. Which they gave to us in when we applied for this particular pool. But if they say we don't have, they can put it to contest. It's a question of evidence. We bring it. Somebody does that, or somebody acknowledged the letter that was applied for, for the release of this document. So it's not as if we are saying we don't have it. INEC has already released this document to the research. Joseph Senna Belligers confirmed it. He has been saying that same thing for a long time. So if Obong uh, Efang is uh, Efanga is uh, denied that he did release it officially, we don't know how, how he released it. If he said I did not release it officially, then he would then tell the court or wherever they want to contest it how he released it unofficially. But we got that document from him. That was where they got the document from. It was from this from INEC. Oh, so what, what are they releasing again? They have already released it again. Sorry, sir, sorry, sir. What at which release are they releasing again? When Resex said we have already collected this re this result this uh, register from the INEC. So which other register are you expecting us to have from INEC again? All right. Well, well, let's uh, sort do of. Do you understand me? I I do understand. I'm on the ground. I'm standing on the point that the I the reset chairman, being retired justice, Elebeli said, I have received this document officially from the INEC being the voters register them open afangas never denied this before only to come 
having this week to put a denial to this. Something that was even the media over two weeks. The man said, I have received this thing before they went to court. I don't need a new one again. I've gotten it. Then you are coming the before yesterday, or they're about to say, No, we have not released it officially. So, and if you look at his composure in that interview, I don't think he has the boldness to say, I did not see their letter or I did not release it. You can't say that. All, all right, uh, Barry Stockwell, let's uh, shift a little bit away from. Uh, the RSEC and INEC controversy, which uh, has been quite a bone, of, a huge bone of contention uh, leading up to the local government polls. Let's talk about the issue of local government autonomy in, uh, especially in River State, now that uh, there is about to be a set of a new set of local government uh, chairmen. How would the local government autonomy granted to LGAs greatly impact the development in your state? You already have a performing governor, like you rightly pointed out. Uh, but will the autonomy also make the local government uh, chairman more performing than they have been? Thank you for this question. If there is anybody that is happy in this state, in respect to this local government autonomy, is Governor Sin Fubara and his followers and supporters. You know why I said this? For the past eight years, all the local government, the river states, the local government are suffering from underdevelopment. Like in my community or my local government, there is no functional health center. When I mean no functional health center, there is nowhere a pregnant woman can go and say, let me go for ordinary Atlanta to that register. You see how painful it is. For the past three, four years now, no form of electricity in my community, in my entire local government. When I mean no health center, no electricity, no good roads. And 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 what is this? No, no, what is no, this no, because no school, no primary schools, no secondary school that that is not having any leaky roof. No roof chairs, nothing. Why I'm saying this now? We are, because. Just the three months that the governor, our good governor, gave us the committee uh, leaders and chairman, every local government had a sense of belonging. Every local government, including my own. Despite uh, I'm not very 100% in support of the performance of my person, that is uh, uh, David Obereji, as my own local government, not very in support of what he did, because there was a lot of lassity. But at least he has commenced the the issue of re, to restore the electricity in the local government. He has commenced it. We can see poles, we can see wires, what we have not seen for the past five years. Are we talking about schools? There is no functional to school, when I mean school in my community. The three primary schools are dead. No roof. The secondary school is gone. That is the state of local government. My village is even a bit developed. Well, well, well Barista, what, what would you attribute this huge underdevelopment in most uh, local government areas in your state to? Could it be the past? uh state administration or maybe some shortfalls from the current administration as well well barrister tangod uh if you can hear me i believe there's uh still another glitch in that uh well let's uh still take uh, the newspaper headline earlier uh, the metrics newspaper where you know we saw stories about the rivers uh, local government polls now as the metrics newspaper greets your screen i will take it again uh, before we come back to have the concluding part of uh, this particular discussion with barrister tangod okwara now on the front page of the metrics newspaper you'd find the headline story rivers local government polls for barra talks tough reveals why local government elections must hold says 17 out of 18 parties have registered candidates apc factions take different stances one supports 
an election or the keys for Barra. INEC disagree over release of voters registered to RSEC, that's the River State Independent Electoral Commission. Now, away from the matrix, on the front page of the Punch newspaper, we start off with uh, a top story above the masthead, where INEC withholds register as Fubara and Wiki's camps clash, leading up to the River State local government uh, elections come October 5th. Now let's uh, see if we can re-establish a uh, connection with uh, Barrister. Uh, well, it appears that uh, the connection there is uh, quite uh, severe with Barrister Okpara, but I must also thank him uh, for joining uh, this uh, particular program. I believe the weather in Portacote isn't quite friendly, and that's why... Uh, we had that uh, bad connection there. Now, Barista Tango Dokbara is a legal practitioner and a politician, a two times PDP aspirant, a Moha constituency state house of assembly under the guise of the People's Democratic Party. Now, he was also a local government council chairmanship aspirant on the PDP against uh, Chief in 2018 as well as candidate of NPP for House of Representatives position, Ikwere Emoha local government area federal constituency in 2023 general elections. Well, that's uh, the much time will permit us to take on this particular segment of the program. And with uh, Barrister Tango Dokwara off the line, uh, it will be... It's on uh, the discussions leading up to the River State polls. But come October 5th, citizens will be heading up to the polls to exercise their civil franchise and with the local government autonomy uh, granted to LGAs across the country, perhaps there might be some sort of change in terms of development across local government areas in River State. As Barrister Okwara has pointed out, uh, the Derming on the development ravaging parts of the state uh, need urgent address.